Hey there, welcome to It's All About the Cocktail. In keeping with the theme of upgrading your gin and tonic, I want to tell you about another premium gin, Henrix Gin. This was brought, this was introduced to me by my brother-in-law, Greg, who brought me over a bottle. I've since gone through that bottle, but I bought a fresh one here. And this gin is getting very, very popular. It was introduced in Scotland back in 1999, but since then it's growing more and more in popularity. So I want to tell you again how to upgrade your gin and tonic. Buy a premium gin and buy a better tonic. Now, Hendrix is made with botanicals. It's made with rose and cucumber and 11 different botanicals. Now, all the different things in there, you can try something different in it and it'll bring out, it'll bring out the flavor. Now they recommend you use cucumbers instead of limes to bring out the botanicals. I'm actually going to use cucumbers and lime because I'm an American, so I'm going to put cucumbers and lime, but I am going to use an elderflower tonic to bring out the elderflower in the, in the Hendrix. I'm not going to tell you, I'll, I'll tell you at the end, I'll tell you a bunch of tidbits that I've learned about this along the way, but I'll make the drink, let's just make the drink first, okay? That sounds good. Okay. First thing you want to do is you want to have your glass fill it with some ice so it gets cold. Okay? Dump that ice on. We want some fresh stuff. Okay. Get yourself one and a half ounces of Henrix Premium Gin. Now I got my little shot glass thing with the little hand thing on there so I can kind of flip it over real easy. That one's kind of full. Let's use this for the rest of this one. Get yourself, get, your, get yourself some of that fever tree. In this case, I'm using elderflower tonic. They make about three or four different tonics. Okay. Now they say you want to put twice as much of the tonic water in there. I'm going to put not just not not quite twice as much. Put it in there down the side. I say you want to keep some of the effervescence going. Now, the Henrich website, you'll see on the Henrich website, they got a lot of things that look familiar. And that's probably because Terry Gilliam from Monty Python helped them with a lot of the graphics. But they say there you want to use three coins of cucumber. But I'm going to put in a little lime because I'm an American and we like lime in our gin and tonics. So... We'll put a little lime in the, in the sides there. You know, I'm gonna give it, give it a good, give it a good couple, give it a good stir first. And I'll put my three coins right on the top there. Looks good too, doesn't it? You want it to look good because the eye drinks with you. Okay. Like I say, I was going to give you a few things that I've learned about this. Now, in 2003, Hendrix Gin was voted the world's best tasting gin by the Wall Street Journal. The, the person who, the master distiller made this, she was making things by the age of four. At age four, she was making things with different botanicals, different roots, and making people drink it. Not, not liquor, but she was making different drinks. Made quite a fine one here with this. This was also named by the oldest person in Scotland, and she was a member of the Grant family. Now the Grant family, she was she was 110 when she died in 2003. Now the Grant family also, William Grant and Sons, makes a leading 
Scotch, Glenfiddich. That makes Glenfiddich, Drambuie, Tullamardu, Monkey Shoulder. So they know what they're doing. What do you say if you give this a taste? See what it's like. Oh man, I like that. That's really good. I think you should check it out. Anyways, I want you to remember, this is very important, so listen to me closely. At the end of the day, it's all about the cocktail. I will see you just in time for the next round. I'll see you later. Now I'd like you to subscribe. Actually, if you subscribe and hit the little bell next to it, then you'll get notified when I put out another video. And also, if you send me a comment back, I mean, I want to get better at this, and I want you to send me constructive comments that will help me get better at this. So, please consider doing that. Thank you.